11 o'clock on this Monday night, April 14, 2014 on a Monday night. Time now for the What of Injury Show PJ with the Late Now Report. Monday night, April 14, 2014. Good evening, everybody. Our congregation is at 11 o'clock in North Massachusetts. It got a temperature of 64 degrees with overcast skies. Trip the D, 73%. Wind speed up about 12 gusts or 23 miles per hour. Bramman at 296 inches, 2.5, 55 degrees, and invisibly up 10 miles. Okay, let us take a look at our radar scope. But it shows a line of rain showers here from me. Eastern Quebec, stretching on Western Vermont, and down to upstate New York, down to central Pennsylvania, down to Western Virginia, down to the Carolinas, and another batch of rain shots from Eastern Louisiana, down to the Gulf States. Up in the Mississippi, Alabama, down in Georgia, searching in Central Tennessee, Kentucky, down for Howe, down for Northwest of Portugal, Pennsylvania, some sleeting in eastern portions of Quebec, and sleeting and raining showers in eastern portions of Prince Edward Island. There some snow showers in the Northwest of portions of Ohio, down for Northern Indiana, and Northern Illinois, down for Wisconsin, down for Michigan, and some snow showers in the Northeast of portions of Montana, Minnesota, down for the Southwest of portions of Ontario, snow showers in Central portions of Saskatchewan and up in Canada. Here, yeah. rain showers in the north eastern portions of Alberta. Snow flurries around the Mount Rushmore section of South Dakota. Key line, Wisconsin. Key line, Wyoming. Good evening, 20 degrees with clear skies. Okay, let us take a look at our radar scope. Saturday loop in it. Chill. First, we're going to take a look at the storms. And it shows a couple of batches of heavy rain, some. This is some cells with some damaging winds here. Around the southeast of Louisiana, down for Mississippi, down for Alabama here. Now we're going to take a look at our satellite loop here. And it shows two areas of continents. One continent is covering much of the eastern portion of the country and stretch out on the Great Lakes. Another batch of clouds from Northern California, Nevada, stretch out for the Pacific Northwest, down for Western Montana, down for Western Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, down for British Columbia here. All right, let's take a look at our map situation here. Cold front from Northern California and up in Oregon and in Eastern Washington and a pink front up in British Columbia. Straight front from Alberta and a cold front from Montana and down from Wyoming and down through Nebraska. Cold front from Northern Mexico stretching down the Gulf of Mexico and stretching up to Louisiana. Station from Louisiana and a cold front from Tennessee. Down get the down from Pennsylvania up in upstate New York and up in uh, Quebec and a warm front up in Quebec and at this Gulf St. Lawrence. Stationary front from Nova Wisconsin down from Nova Michigan down from Ontario up in New Quebec. For the buying from West Carolina, New Mexico, we got 62 degrees that temperature now in Boston, 72 in Washington, D.C., 65 in Atlanta, 70 in Miami, 60 in Brandsville, Texas, 50 in Dallas, Texas, 38 in Kansas City, 31 in Chicago, 31 in Minneapolis, 54 in Albuquerque, 55 in Salt Lake City, 38 in Denver, 57 in Great Falls, 64 out in Seattle, 59 in San Francisco, and 65 in Los Angeles. All right, current conditions around the region, we got 61 degrees that temperature now in Boston, it's 65 in Pittsburgh, 60 in Worcester, 61 in Sturbridge, 59 in Webster, 63 in Milford, 63 in Bedford, 63 in Beverly, 59 out in Gloucester, 59 in Norwood, 63 in Taunton, 57 in Bedford, 59 in Falmouth, 54 out in Chatham and Provincetown, 52 in Cape Cod Bay, 52 in Nantucket, 55 in Mark Vineyard, 52 in Black Island, 51 in Westway, 59 in Midfield, 54 in Boston Harbor, 61 in Carter, 63 in Greenfield, 61 in Amherst, 63 in Springfield, 61 in Pittsfield, 68 in North Amherst, 68 in Albany, 67 in Bainton, Vermont, 63 out in Kenanchester, 61 in Jeffrey, 63 in Concord, 62 in Manchester, 65 in Nashville, 65 in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, 55 in New Hampshire Bay, 62 in Woodlock, 61 in Offord, 59 out in Maryland, 59 in Waterbury, 62 in Denbury, 62 in New Haven, and 57 in Bridgeport. And 54 out in this limit in New York City and 53 in Montauk. Oh, wait. Let's take a look at our radar. Let's take a look at our HPC forecast discussion here. Locally, heavy rainfall and severe storms are possible through Tuesday across much of the Gulf Coast and winter refuse to let go from the Great Lakes in the Northeast. Numerous showers and thunderstorms across the deep south will continue for the remainder of today and Tuesday morning as moisture from the Gulf of Mexico continues to vent into the region ahead of a strong cold front. Temperatures and moisture are in typical of May ahead of the spandery as it will be supportive threat of locally every rain across most of the southern and eastern United States as a cold front events is about 
Once you're born in severe time, the storms will be possible closer to the Gulf Coast, but higher in stability will be present. Our ability to cold air mass at least by April standards has settled in the central United States beyond the strong cold front referenced by above. Temperatures will be running about 20 to 30 degrees below normal for this time of the year, and light snow conditions of the afternoon will be on the front of the crust. Parts of the Midwest has an area of low pressure strengthening along the front tonight, and the response to the upper level of drill approaching from the west snow coverage and intensity will pick up across. Wire Valley and Southeast Michigan, where a couple of inches of accumulation can be expected by Tuesday afternoon as rain will change over to snow Tuesday night. Across the northeast, where minor accumulations are possible, mostly across high elevations where temperatures will be a bit colder. Flooding across northern New York and New England from raining snow melt, uh, the addition of rain will be possible on Tuesday as well. Below average temperatures will be in place across most of the lake creatures on Wednesday, along the west coast as the next storm system passes. Over the central and over Rocky Mountain into the central United States Fair. Wednesday, like the moderate snow expected from central Minnesota east where the UB and Michigan while high temperatures remain in the 30s while roughly 20 degrees below low normal. The course of Pacific Northwest, current issue remains somewhat unsettled with unsure for whistle on the rain and high elevation snows, but no major symptoms are happening here with fact that Wednesday night the temperatures along the entire west coast remain close to normal for Tuesday and on Wednesday. And we'll take a look at our SPC forecast discussion here. And we have a slight risk to some strong storms by the Gulf states from Louisiana, Southern Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. Some damage in winds, some heavy rain, and a low chance of a tornado possible in this area of and blue. And let us take a look at our for current forecast for New England here. Friday day forecast discussion here in New England here. Cassie Southwell, we went to do ahead of a cold front that will be sweeping across the region, bringing it with a soaker rain for Tuesday, exit and shortly after midnight Wednesday. Drying in a much cooler condition expected for the Wednesday and Thursday with temperatures moderating by Friday and Saturday, wherever we elect over the weekend. New term until 6 a.m. Tuesday morning, 10 p.m. at the Alvo, a combination of Low dip points and latest laps stranded and stranded just over the wall, lower level. Column moisture continues to be increased over the broken over. Cast clouds cover observe. A low top convective line moving in front. New York has very rapidly diminished due to the combination loss of adrenal support and the air serpent and now the deep layer of moisture by strong short wave LLJ. Well to the top, therefore. Feel that the latest mesoscale scale guidance will continue to have the right idea that the initial band that participation will have little to no effect of southern wing and will need to watch the north of the southern LLJ. Low level jet mentioned earlier, in fact, because it was which could be possible in rainfall during the early morning hours, particularly in Connecticut, Western Massachusetts, has a strong cold front well west of the region approaches. BL mixing continues to keep fog at the bay across the region, so we'll delay fog time in a few hours to see how much mixing diminishes for the overnight. Okay, let us take a look at our. The latest on. Okay, let us take a look at tomorrow's highs. 65 for Boston, 62 for Worcester, 64 for Hartford, 68 for New York, 64 for Albany, 66 for Concord, 68 for Rutland, and 58 for Portland. And rainfall totals are up to one inch, up to the main, uh, up an inch to a quarter to a half an inch for much of the region, and uh, most rain will be one and a half inches for much of Southern Connecticut. And that was seven New York and New Jersey, including the New York City Midpond area and not in Long Island. So, this will be the jackpot of the rain total here, 1.5 inches or more. And we're going to take the time of the future cast. Wait out to see time how, when the rain will get here. Alright, let's time to see how, when will the rain will get here. Here, okay, uh, one o'clock the rain is gonna be up in upstate New York and down to southern western New York and northeast northeastern portions of Pennsylvania by about two o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning we will see some bands of spotty rain showers from much of the region here. Six o'clock. The rain together we'll get together and we'll see some rain showers and it'll be raining and there's a shade of orange and red around Hazleton and near Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. It's shade of rain around eight o'clock. So the morning commute. 
You're gonna be fine driving to work for the morning commute from Rochester, Massachusetts. A little rain, but noontime. The rain's gonna be in North Western New Maine and in Hampshire, down Vermont, down for Western New England, and down for upstate New York. That's a trace of snow up in upstate and Western New York. Here. And then the 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, rain will be here by Western and Central Massachusetts then. I'm going to time that the rain and heavy rain and winds and storms will get here about 8 o'clock at night. And in addition to the rain, we're going to see gusts up to 30 to 35, maybe about 40 miles per hour. And... And we have a hazardous weather outlook here. Day one tonight, then fog is possible on the south shore with visibilities down to a quarter mile or less. This will make for hazardous traveling conditions. Days two for seven, Tuesday for Sunday, then fog with visibilities down to a quarter mile or less, may linger along the south shore line from mon morning and midday Tuesday. Widespread rain, whatever the heavier stars, and possible times from the main of Zelda and there is of urban and port drainage flooding. Along with the possibility of some strong southerly wind gusts in excess of 45 miles per hour. Beyond the cold front, passage, shoved in midnight Wednesday will be a brief possibility of isolated westerly wind gusts in excess of 45 miles per hour. And a little take a look at a bus stop forecast here. About 2 p.m., 7 a.m., 56 degrees with few showers, and 2 p.m., 64 degrees light rain. So, parents, pack the kids' ring gear with you while they're waiting to school because it's going to be a rainy day on town. And let's take a look at our live shot cam here outside a house here in Norton. And it shows. Woo! A little breezy out in this Monday night here in Norton. And clouds going over to the moon. And a little breezy over the reservoir. Let's go back in. All right, let's take a look at a seven day forecast. It goes like this. All right. While you're sleeping in the overnight hours of tonight, we are gonna see some slight chance of showers after 3 a.m. Memories of fog after 2 a.m. Otherwise, multi got low in 56 degrees. South winds. 11 to 13 miles per gust size, 24 miles per chance of precipitation, 20%. Tuesday, rain with thunderstorms also possible after 5 p.m. Areas of fog before 1 p.m. high near 63 degrees. Breezy skies and a south wind about 16 to 21 miles per gust size, 34 miles per hour. Trends of perspiration is 80%. New rainfall amounts between the quarter and after inch possible. Tuesday night, rain and possibly a thunderstorm map for 4 a.m. Then rain likely, some of the storms can produce some gusting winds. Low around 34 degrees. Breeze with a south wind about 13 20 miles per hour. Quick coming. Not what's wrong. Through midnight, winds could gust size 34 miles per hour. Trends of perspiration is 100%. New rainfall amounts between the three quarters of the wind inch possible. Wednesday, trends of showers mainly before 7 a.m. Most of the gusts are about mid morning. Then gradual clearing with a high near 47 degrees. Breeze with a northwest wind about 16 20 miles per gust size 30 miles per hour. Trends of perspiration 30 New perspective plants over less than a 10 minute inch possible. Went to that, close sky, low in 27 degrees. No foot about 7 to 9 miles per gust size, 20 miles per hour. Thursday, puts the skies in the area, 48 degrees. Thursday night, most of the sky, low in 32 degrees. Friday, both the skies in the area, 53 degrees. Friday night, trench of showers, both the sky, low in 37 degrees. Trench of perspective, 30%. Shower today, trench of showers, both the sky, 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 51 degrees. Chance of preservation is 50%. Sunday night, chance of showers. Most cars got low in 40 degrees. Yeah. Chance of preservation is 40%. Sunday, most cars got high near 56 degrees. Sunday night, most cars got low in 30 degrees. Monday, most of the night got near 58 degrees. Here's what a phrase on the night. Oh, overcast night on tap and a rainy night on tap for tomorrow. This is PJ with your Good night with a good time to that. Be seeing you tomorrow morning. Good night. See you tomorrow morning.